So, the, the, but he's saying the change is always difficult. There are various models. People, there are people who believe that it's very difficult to change, but it's easier to create a new habit. So, you, you, it's difficult to stop eating junk food, but it's easier to start eating healthy food. So, uh, proportionately, the junk food will go gradually away. Something like this. So, if we make people buy in, if he see that I have something for, for it, he may create the new habit. He may still go sometime to an old habit, sometime, maybe still. But once the new habit takes place, the, the old wiring may start moving away from your mind. So this is true for 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 all kind of, of habits. So I was reading uh, or checking a video last night about all those stuff. <laughs> if it's difficult to change wife, will I get a new girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Because the law is in very much support of women, they are strong. Oh, shit, here is the complete analysis. We have an exploded option. Great, great insight. <laughs> great insight that makes it a little lighter. So, if you look at that particular book, you can check the scarf model. There is a person named David Rock. So, S C A R F, scarf. So there is a person named David Rock who has created this model. Even Scrum Alliance is also nowadays uh, uh, referring this car model very frequently. They have a book called Quiet Leadership in which you can find more details about his approach, his philosophy about uh, leadership and changing human behavior. Quiet Leadership. <laughs> and Nonviolent Communication is a, is a one book which you can read. If you think that I am a... I find difficult to read things, then there is a, a, a YouTube channel, you can search somehow. There is a writer, uh, 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 there is a book called Crucial Conversation. And there is a writer who has written this particular book and he runs a YouTube channel which has a significant amount of video on the same subject. So uh, if you YouTube Crucial Conversation, you will find it. C R U C I A Crucial, Crucial Conversation. Maybe uh, like more or less same uh, theme which the non-violent communication talks about. The all threads are same, but this is more like direct. The non-violent communication is little bit abstract. It requires little bit energy to, to understand that. Crucial conversation is relatively easy read, but doesn't cover everything which is covered in, in non-violent communication. But somebody who feels reading is not my cup of uh, tea may go for YouTube, search for crucial conversation. This guy has a TEDx kind of speeches. I think more than 50-60, which, uh, which introduces various scenarios and how the conversation uh, should be done. And he says uh, in his crucial conversation that you tend to have a difficult conversation. Whenever you are trying to do something which is greater than what you are doing, you will have crucial conversation. If you just live your life as you are living, you don't have to get into conflict. But the day you try to do something, the day you plan some holiday at your home, you will have a crucial conversation. If you remain in a normal life, you don't have a conflict. You plan something new, somewhere going. For a 5-10 minutes, you will have a, some conversation, some conflicts coming in. So this is unavoidable. He, he tells that conflicts, issues are unavoidable. The maturity of relationship, as per crucial conversation guy is, the lead time between the conflict and an agreement, okay, we are into conflict and we resolve it. If the lead time starts shrinking, it means you have mastered the art of doing crucial conversation. If you know how to talk non-violently, your lead time will start shrinking. So you keep fighting at home as usual. There is no, no recipe which can stop that. But there is a recipe which can make it shorter. <laughs> the things will resolve faster. So that, that is something can happen when you follow these conversations. So why uh, <laughs> 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 One point which uh, we have not touched so far is the negotiation skills in our courts. So far I am not hearing, maybe third I do not know. No, no, we don't have it. But in my experience so far, I feel that a coach has to be a good negotiator. Because there are many a case where the coachee 
would want to escape. They don't want to take the responsibility. Yeah, true, true. So it's a good feedback though as per our ICSL coaching conditions. From this model at least I don't see, uh, but from experience I see that that's a very critical factor where you are some, some skillfully negotiating uh, a person to... I think the minute you say negotiation, it's always associated with negotiating uh, uh, terms or money, fundamentally. That are, those are types of negotiations, but uh, see, even your child negotiates with you for day to day things, your wife negotiates so, with you for everything. What I say is that if you just focus on conversation, there could be any type of conversation, but I will look at it as a good feedback. You will look into it. It, it deals with the indirectly. Yeah, so it deals indirectly, but we will look into it that if, if there are some, because there are some techniques which can make negotiation happen faster. There are specific ways, there are specific ways which can make things, things fast and, and make you win. So we will definitely explore that if, if it comes evidently, we will see something. So this is not to do with this session. It is something, they, they are attending our three days agile coaching session. So, so they just, some, they are making me say, what happened here? Yeah. <laughs> no, coaching, we were discussing only what the coaches would do at the products of the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, true, true, true. It's a good point. No, I was just making that it's not about a one hour session, it's about the three day program. <laughs>